Hello people, in this video we want to look at desferioxamine. What is desferioxamine? It's a chelating agent, right? It is a drug used to treat iron poisoning. Desferioxamine, to treat iron poisoning. So first let us take a recap of what we have seen so far. <clears throat> we saw chelating agents, uh, these are antidotes in heavy metal poisoning. We are looking at the pharmacology. So the important uh, chelating agents are British anti-levisite. It is also called as... Uh, dimercaprol and it is used against levisite it will treat levisite poisoning which is a war gas it can to be specific it can be used to treat the poisoning of arsenic bismuth lead mercury gold nickel etc uh, calcium sodium uh, calcium disodium editate can be used to treat lead poisoning desferioxamine can be used to treat uh, iron poisoning it is also called as uh, deferoxamine def deferoxamine okay so dfoa it is also called as it is used to treat iron poisoning and then you have penicillamine penicillamine is the degradation product of penicillin it can bind to copper so it is used to treat wilson's disease where there is excess deposition of copper etc now there is another thing called as defer i prone not iphone defer i prone okay this one is actually used uh, to again for uh, iron only again for iron only okay so now basically in the last video we have seen what these chelating agents are they are used to treat heavy metal poisoning they bind to metallic ions so what they will do they will bind to the iron they will form these ring structures like coordination complexes which are water soluble and they are readily excreted by our body so if somebody you know has taken some metal poisoning you can give them chelating agents but you should know which chelating agent to give right so what is the ideal chelating agent? It should have low affinity to calcium. It should not remove calcium from our, our, our body. It should only remove that bad metal which we don't want. These chelating agents should not be metabolized and stored in our body. They should be just water soluble and excreted. These are the ideal chelating agents. In the last video, we looked at the details of dimer caprol. In this video, our target is to look at uh, desferioxamine. Okay, so now pay attention here. Desferioxamine is a chelating agent. It is used to treat uh, iron poisoning. Okay. So basically how this desferioxamine is made, you know, they take this ferioxamine and remove iron from it and it becomes desferioxamine. This desferioxamine now wants that iron back, back, back. It's just waiting for that iron. So desferioxamine has high affinity to iron. So this des desferioxamine has high affinity to iron. Look at this. This is desferioxamine. It has high affinity to iron. So you will give it an iron poisoning. Now this is desferioxamine. It is given IM or IV. Okay, it can be given IM or IV. IV they usually give in any emergency, right? Acute poisoning they will give iron, no, sorry IV. And in chronic poisoning they can give it as IM. Now remember 1 gram of desferioxamine can bind to 85 milligram of elemental iron. So it has very high affinity to iron. Also, what it will do, it can remove any loosely bound iron from hemosiderin, ferritin, etc. But it cannot remove iron from hemoglobin, cytochrome, etc. Which is very good. We don't want to remove iron from hemoglobin, right? And we don't want to remove it from cytochrome either. But we want to remove these uh, uh, storage forms like hemosiderin, ferritin, etc. Then, moving on to the next slide of desferioxamine. Specific uses and adverse effects of desferioxamine. Specific uses of desferioxamine are like in acute iron poisoning, especially like in children, they will take iron without knowing. Then it is life-saving drug, okay, desferioxamine. That time you can give IV. Transfusion uh, uh, iron poisoning, like over a long period of uh, time now, these people are taking so much of blood transfusion, like people who have thalassemia and all, they take blood transfusion repeated. That time what they will do, they will give IM. In IM, in chronic iron poisoning, you can give iron. IM, you can also give IV if you want, okay. What are the adverse effects of this desferioxamine? So, once you give a person desferioxamine because he has iron uh, poisoning, they should remember that he may have a allergic reaction. So, he may have histamine release. So, fall in blood pressure, rashes, etc. can occur. Over the time on repeated use, na, then they can have changes in the lens and the retina. You should be careful. Other things, standard things you will write are diarrhea, abdominal pain, muscle cramps, fever, dysuria, etc, etc. Okay. 
So that is all about uh, uh, desferioxamine. So we are completed desferioxamine in this video. Remember uh, other uh, one to remove iron, one more is there to remove iron. That is defer, defer, deferiprone you can see if you want, deferiprone like that. Just like desferioxamine you have deferiprone. Okay, this is also to remove iron only. Okay. So, any other question you have regarding chelating agents, main two we have completed that is dimer caprol and uh, desferioxamine. These two are very important for the exam. Guys, looks like this penicillamine is also important for exam. So, let's just come back and look at this also. Come back in the next video, we will look at this penicillamine, what it will do. It will bind to copper, etc, etc. It is used to treat Wilson's disease. Come back in the next video, we will look at penicillamine, okay? It's a bye for now. Bye, enjoy.